Hello, I'm going to talk a bit about creating your own rollover button types. These are buttons that have a rollover style to them. And you want to do this so that you don't litter your form with rollover events or mouse events, sorry. And here's the rollover button here. It has three image properties. There's the first one is the mouse down image that's set to none. And that's when your mouse clicks or you have your mouse down on the button. A certain image shows. Then the mouse enter image and the mouse leave image. And that's self explanatory. In my class, when you set the mouse leave image and you have the auto set image property set to true, it will automatically set the default image to the mouse leave image. And for the most part, you want the default image to be the same as the mouse leave image. The default image is just the image that appears when the button is first created and shown. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the class here. So I've got my three images here. You can probably just use bitmaps if you please. Here's my auto set image property or uh, variable. And then I'm going to configure the button so that it's appropriate for images. Um, so auto sizing to true, auto size mode to grow and shrink. Um, flat appearance border size is equal to zero you don't want borders you don't want the back color to be solid and you want the flat style to be flat we also want to disable the um, back color for the pre-existing mouse over events or um, functionality like the colors just make the color transparent and I'm disabling the, the fo show focus cues. This is the selection rectangle that appears every once in a while and is very ugly on this style of button. Okay, so here's the mouse enter event. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the cursor to a cursor hand just so that it's even more obvious that the mouse is over the button. I just like this feel. You don't really need to do this. And after that, we're going to check to see if the mouse enter image is equal to null. If it isn't, then we want to set the current image to the mouse enter image. The current image is the image that is shown to the user, that is dis displayed. We're going to do the same thing for the on mouse leave event handler. And we just want to assign the mouse leave image when the mouse leaves the control. We're going to do the same for the on mouse down event handler. In the on mouse up event you definitely want to reset your image to the mouse enter image because your mouse is is still going to be over the control when your mouse is up. So here are my decorated properties and whenever the images are set I just kind of set the text to empty so that the text doesn't appear. I can probably figure out a much more effective way of disabling the text I'm probably going to do that do that after the video, make it unbrowsable and just kind of fiddle with its set proper or set accessor so that you can't set the text to anything. It automatically sets the control uh text property to the control's name and it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. And here's where I'm checking for the auto set image. So if auto setting the image, we want to assign the initial image to the um mouse leave image. 